presenter would be Miss Brianna Skeets, and she's a post bachelorette researcher, and she graduated from Lawrence University with a emphasis on geology and environmental science. Thank you. Hi everybody, it's so nice to see everyone here, and I actually didn't get into um, town until about 12.30 yesterday, so hello. <laughs> All right, um, so just wanted to give everybody a little update about what I've been doing since we last saw each other in December of 2011. So I did graduate from school in 2012, which was a huge accomplishment for me because um, it, was, it was a little bit of a difficult journey, but everybody's support here from this program was very helpful and kept me going. And so then um, after graduation, there's my little picture down there, um, I did another summer internship with the Recess um, Internship Program, and for those who are not familiar with the program, it's very similar to SOARS, we're kind of sister programs, um, but instead of focusing in atmospheric science, we focus in earth science research. And that, um, that was in Boulder, Colorado, and was there uh, through the summer. I'll explain a little bit more about the research in a second. Um, after recess in 2012, I started working as a um, temporary lab assistant in the INSTAR Research Institute, which um, stands for the Institute on, oh my goodness, uh, <laughs> hold on a second. I don't know why the acronym is slipping my name, but it's an um, Institute on Al Arctic and Alpine Research. There we go. Um, and then after that, was over, I applied for an NSF graduate fellowship. I also applied to CU Boulder um, for their PhD program. And then on top of that, I decided, okay, I need a, a job to kind of keep me going. So now I work as a bank teller at um, Wells Fargo, which has been interesting. So um, the research that I did in um, 2012 was basically adding a spatial component to the research that I had done before by using um, by using LIDAR data to, um, to look at different uh, attributes in this area. So one of the things that we looked at was vegetation distribution because we were interested um, in finding trees that were growing in rock outcrops. And so one of the things that we decided to do was look at the vegetation throughout the area. And the darker colors here on this map, this is basically um, the uh, Gordon Gulch uh, catchment area, and so the darker colors just indicate taller trees, and the lighter colors or white colors indicate the smaller or basically um, shrubs that are uh, above or below three feet. Um, and so then we decided to find rock outcrops by using um, previous student research um, and highlighted those areas, and we uh, took a look at the uh, the water that was inside of these trees and um, analyze their uh, their uh, isotopic composition to um, determine how much or what kind of water was grow or was present in these trees and in the soil surrounding the area. So basically, um, we found that the trees that were growing on outcrops um, received more water uh, from the ground groundwater. <laughs> what looked to be a groundwater source rather than previous years where it looked to be more of a snow melt source. And so we think that the change in climate had a role in, uh, in the water sources for that time. And so that was just kind of basically uh, what I did over the summer by just adding a little bit more um, sample, uh, adding more samples to our sample size from the year before and also just getting a spatial component to it. Um, so then after that was over, like I said, I worked as a um, temporary lab assistant at NSTAR for a little bit of time and then I decided um, I really just kind of wanted to break from school and from academia just to kind of get my myself together and um, so that's why I applied to um, the PhD program for next fall. Um, whether or not that happens we'll see. I'm kind of waiting to hear back. I also applied for the graduate fellowship. Um, again we'll see what happens if I hear back from them. And then right now um, what I'm planning to do is just work for a little bit, kind of get that real world experience and just kind of uh, figure out what else is out there and by paying off my student loans, which I finally started doing and I think I'll be doing it for quite some time, but working in that process. And then just spending time in Colorado and I'm really, really looking forward to um, some warm weather um, and hiking. And so it's basically what I've been up to for the past year. I decided to go into the, I wanted to look more in the field of hydrology, so I wanted to take that route. Um, and I am trying to improve a subsurface moisture model that's currently in Gordon Gulch watershed by adding 
more of um, transpiration sources and adding it over a longer period of time. So instead of having just summer values, I want a little bit more winter values and see for an overall yearly values of moisture in the area. Okay, thank you.